Hello. It's going to be a bit windy, radio mics are not on. We're at Alton Broad still, but today, as we said, we're going to walk into Lowestoft. So, it's midday. <laughs> we have moved. So, it's now over in that corner. Uh, so, we're looking down at the racetrack for tomorrow night, which we are really excited about. We're end on we're, 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 we're stirring on. That's the one. Stirring on. And I didn't make too much of a pig's era doing it. Met two really nice people, Mick and Jan. Um, yeah, so uh, right, let's go into Lowestoft. Um, let's see, see what it's all about. Well, we've been walking for about 40 minutes. Well, correction, we've been off the boat for about 40 minutes. We've probably been walking for about 20 because we've been stopped God knows how many times with the dogs. Anyway, it appears half the uh, roads we need to be along are closed. So, um, we're going in Brow to get to the... Are we supposed to be doing that way? We're meant to be going up that road, but we could normally just cut across, but now we've got to walk all the way around. So, what should have taken 48 minutes is probably going to take a lot longer. But we are, we are getting there. I just hope it's worth, worth it. Look at that. Muriel. Muriel? Muriel. That's Muriel. Muriel. Is that again? Look at that. Muriel. It's a mural. mural. It's a mural. mural. It's a girl's name. <sighs> oh, I don't know. We're getting there. That's something I've not seen for a long time. Parcels office. Public exhibition space. Community shop. Community rail hub. Refreshments. Booklet. So they've turned the old parcels office into... Um, well... Exhibition. Yeah, probably. That's kind of nice. So I've got no idea where we are. Taco Bell. You know where we are, No idea where we are. Yeah. Right. We're gonna. Uh, are we gonna do our normal thing? Are we gonna try and find food? Are we going to try and find food? Or is it, look, hey look. Oh, right. Port control. That's the, um, the yacht club over there. I'm going to have a walk over there in a minute. Yeah, the yacht club. Um, that's what MYA do a lot of their stuff out of there, aren't they? Let's have a look down here. Because it's that time of day. Weather spoons. Uh, can't go in there. Can't go in there. Don't like dogs. Right, let's go down in and... Right, we've, we've walked into town, haven't we? Yeah. Um, a little bit disappointed, to be quite honest. Um, I knew it was going to be industrial. Well, maybe there's a pretty part, pretty, a prettier part we've ever seen. Yeah. But the best bit so far has been the railway station. Yeah, and the yacht club. We've seen the top of the yacht club. I didn't see that. No, we're going to have a look at that. But um, we found a little place to eat, haven't we? Called what's it called? Sizzlers. Sizzlers. So we're going to have something to eat here. But we're having to wear the radio mics until a bit quiet and normal because we don't want to offend the locals. But um, right now it just looks rundown and poor. It's not London locals' down. On the plus side, we've managed to get some keys cut, which I've been trying to do for about two months. And right. we've had some exercise as we've been walking, haven't we? We have. You're, you're having. I'm having a salad. With. <laughs> yeah. And I'm having a jacket of potato. Right, we'll be back presently. <clears throat> well. I, um. I, I don't like sort of stereotyping anyone or anything. So I'm going to come this side of it. Yeah. I, um, I don't like stereotyping anyone or anything or anywhere. But I, I don't know if you've got what Lise was saying, but Lowestoft appears a very poor, or certain areas, a very poor area. Um... 
very Victorian. Yeah. And, um, Yeah, look, I don't know where I can describe it. I mean, poverty it's poverty, isn't it? It's it's scary. Well, I haven't seen I haven't seen such a poor looking place for a long time, no. Which is a, a crying I mean, shame. It's the main town centre, a lot of the shops were bought together. Yeah. And, um, don't do very much for your psyche, does it, if you don't see it is. I'm. Um, I am. I can't lie. I am really shocked. I think I was expecting um, a, a vibrant, a vibrant place. We're going straight down. Um, yeah, I think I was expecting somewhere vibrant and. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Busy and. Busy. Yeah, yeah, but just, just a crying shame, absolutely crying shame. As you say, some hey. amazing Victorian properties. Um, I mean, we're just walking past a, cit a citizens' advice bureau, and what a lovely building that is. But hang on a minute, sure we'll turn it around. So there. Uh, this imagine this place was busy, vibrant and um, prosperous. Yeah. A hundred, hundred years ago. So. Yeah. Um, I was reading this. Anyway. Um, it's scary. Yeah, maybe up until the 50s. I don't, I don't really know very much about this. Um, it is just, uh, I just, it's really weird because I was expecting one thing and Guess it's something totally different. But right. Unless there's a part we haven't seen. Yet, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> the main town centre. Yeah. And um oh, I see. This is terrible. I don't know if you can this. Well, I don't think we're not being judgmental. Far from it. What we're saying is, is that we are we are very lucky to live somewhere where <clears throat> there's probably more money than we realise. Um, even in our poorest areas it appears that there's more money than... Don't get me wrong, everybody speaks, everybody's really... Oh, very, everyone's oh. really polite. Everyone's really polite and, you know... Let's, well, let's just say this, I have not seen, and I know this is a really weird benchmark, but I haven't seen an expensive hairdo, or false eyelashes, or eyebrows that aren't, aren't your own. Yeah. Because I don't think people have got the money... Where, where we've been anyway, where we've walked, yeah, to spend on that sort of thing, yeah. So, and that, and I mean, none of that is important, but it's what people are spending the money on it these days where we live. So, yeah, I mean, it's just anyway, we are walking towards what we're trying to find somewhere. Well, we've found somewhere we can look out to the water, which is what I want to do, which is over there. It's, I've just got to work out how to get to it, it anyway. Please, please don't think this is us being judgmental. We're not. We, I think we're just more shocked. I don't know what to say. I no. mean, people here look very un unhealthy. Yeah. Um, I, I am. They look worn out. Yeah. Um, right. Go on. Okay. Should we go upbeat and positive now? Uh, well, we'd, we'll be as upbeat and positive as we can. Right. We're going to go see if we can find the sea. The sea. Well, we found something like, well, it's not a beach, is it? It's a, well, we found the sea. Found the sea. And we found a very big... Only tur this way. Very big wind turbine. I'm assuming they're very similar to the ones that they have out at sea, which I thought there was a lot here. Why did I think that? Well, unless that's round, 
more towards Yarmouth, which we might see when we get up here. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, which we might see when we get up here. But open water. Open water. So I wanted to I, I desperately want to bring the boat out here. <laughs> hey look, Winnie's off the lead. And Winnie is tormenting Betsy. Winnie, that's enough, thank you. Winnie, stop. Winnie. Yeah, so we, the positives are that there are some very nice Victorian houses. We had a nice walk, didn't we, from Alton Broad to into Lowestoft. Yeah. We've just had, in this sizzle, Sizzlers? Yeah. Sizzlers, we've just had a really nice lunch. Lisa had a salad and I had a jacket potato and we was expecting one thing and got something completely different. That's just amused you, hasn't uh, it? Yeah. Yeah, so when he's just seen a, a bag flapping about, so. As she got close to it, she, uh, uh, leave it. She wasn't sure what it was. Yeah. Winnie! Yeah, she, she wasn't was... sure what it was. So. Anyway, we're going to, I've got no idea where we are or where this leads to. So we are just going to walk down a little bit further and uh, see where it leads. Hey, we could always walk to Yarmouth, couldn't we? Could we? Probably not. No. But I did say this, I, I felt no need to go back to Great Yarmouth. No. And um, I, oh. th I think we've ticked the lower stuff. The lowest off the box. Off, off our list as well. Yeah. Winnie! Come on! Oh dear. Right, let's keep walking. I just saying, I cannot believe the size of that wind turbine. It's absolutely ginormous. I'm trying to work out if it's going to start going. Winnie! It's no. Turning. I didn't see if the blades are turning. Oh, they might be. Make a good noise when they go around. Do they? Yeah. I mean, it's like I said, we used to have these in France. When I come back to England, I thought the English wind turbines were really like pretend ones. No, they, I mean, it's just. I mean, I've seen them on the hills, you know, going yeah. in towards Newquay. It's just mad. Mind you, I suppose they've got to be that size, haven't they? And if they're offshore, I guess they've got to be that size. Got to be that size so that if the if the waves are high, it doesn't catch the blades. Uh, Come on, Looney. Come away from the edge. I'm trying to remember my cardinal markers now. Is that a north cardinal? I don't know. I will remember. I want that to start going. Lisa says they make a brilliant noise. What sort of noise do they make? It hums because it vibrates down that big stem. Really? Yeah. Oh, you watch. Because I want it to go. It won't. Oh, well. Winnie! Right. I know this is childish, but I just said to Lisa, do you think the lighthouse here is to stop the ships bumping into the houses? And then Lisa, being a sensible one, said... Oh, the water probably came in. Yeah. It's a bit further than it does, no. So, so we've decided it's a bit... It's a bit too cold to be walking along the... Uh, the North Sea, who would ever go swimming in the North Sea? North? You said that's the North Sea? Yeah, yeah North. It's just, it's just your pronunciation went. Oh, the North Sea? Yeah. Is that because I've been with you for too long? Oh. In the North Sea? North. North and South. North and South. Yeah, from the North Sea. There's a maritime museum apparently. Over there, by the looks of it. I bet you can't take dogs in. Go and have a look. Right, we've decided. Why is this wall got windows? Why has it got. Uh, I don't know why this wall has windows. Might have been a. 
I don't know. Unless it was, they said, well, how, look, if you look, those long here, there's more houses. So was this, were they the walls of the oh, houses, yeah. do you think? Yes, possibly. So we decided against the um, Maritime Museum because we don't think it's going to be dog friendly, understandably. But we're walking up Lighthouse Score, is it? Yeah. We're walking up Lighthouse Score. Look, steps. Oh, deep joy. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. It's the Sacre Coeur all over again. Oh, there's quite a few of them. Oh, no. <sighs> For anyone that hasn't seen, and you wouldn't have seen it on this channel, but on our Waggish travels, when Lisa and I first got together, we went to Paris. And Lisa walked me up to the Sacre Coeur, which is about, I think, count 1.4 million steps um i think i made you do it twice didn't yeah I? twice so i wasn't impressed and i've got a big thick coat on so all right i believe up? we keep carrying on up okay fine. i'm not i'm not stopping now i'm just going to keep going so, and the steps are wider apart, which means I've got to take bigger strides. <laughs> oh. Lisa's like, oh. thing is with a radio mic, you can hear me huffing and puffing and dying from the feet upwards. I've got this we'll radio mic, this but I hear the my heavy breathing. And not so out of breath. Right, as you can probably hear, oh, I'm crackered. But Lisa's going to tell us something intelligent. Okay, the lighthouse was put up on the top of what was called the score, which is that steep hill. Yeah. It's 123 feet above sea level, but you can see it's light up to 17 miles out to sea. Really? Yeah. Is, is it, is it still a working lighthouse? Right. Uh, so it opened on the 16th of February, 1874. Yeah. But the score itself, yeah. which had probably made steps into the cliff, into the top, into the yeah. Cliff, yeah, was laid out in 1806. Um, wow. A row of cottages once stood at the foot of the school. So that's where you asked that's where you you asked about the uh, why it looked like it had windows. Yeah, and um, they used to make. It used there used to be somebody there that made wine, which he called Happy Happy's homemade drink. It must have been very happy. And he also charged tuppence to see an unexploded German naval shell that landed in the store in 1916. Unexploded. Yeah. Right. I don't think I'd have been there for that. Well, it looks like a little park or something beside it. Should we go and have a look? Let's have a look, thanks. We're back to Pebbles again, aren't we? Well, yeah. But I'm sure on the Barbican in Plymouth, yeah. there used to be uh, flooring. Yeah. Like um, the lanes used to be like this. Oh, right. Do you think it could be a nautical theme or...? It's just using, yeah, it's using local materials, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. That sea's fairly ferocious, so I should imagine it I suppose, makes lots of pebbles. I suppose pebbles were pretty easy to come by. Yeah. So... Alright, so it's still, still operated by um, Trinity House, but probably not as... I wonder if they've got a light keeper there. A light keeper? A light housekeeper. Uh, I don't think they're manned anymore, are they? I think they're no. all automated. So, Sparrow's Nest Garden. Sparrow's Nest Garden. Because this goes, this just goes back into where we've just come up from, I think. Yeah. Are you, are you worried I'm going to make you walk on the Yeah, I'm worried. Again? 
you're going to make me walk down steps and then back up them again. Oh, okay. Unless you want to, I'm quite happy to. Well, there's another park down here. Okay. We're going to have a look down here then. We are finding nice bits. We are finding. Yeah. Oh. It literally is the town centre. Well, I'm afraid the town centre was a bit of a surprise for me, as I keep saying. And people are going to go, oh, shut up, you've, you've said it once. But as I say, I think I was just expecting something else. But there you go. Oh, right, let's see what else we can find. Well, that's very picturesque, isn't it? I wonder if that is just as would be the, the lodge. Somebody's home. Beautiful view. Park. Am I right? Yeah. Wow. Oh, look, there's a war memorial. I'm going to see if they got... Yeah, oh, yes. My family name is so, here. Are we all right to... Family name? We okay to mention yeah. or no? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, so Lisa's maiden name is... Wait. Wait. W-A-I-T-E. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we have checked out war memorial... Everywhere after, we've been. Yeah. And never, ever found... Never found one. Never found one. So... This is a naval war memorial, I think. Yeah. Going looking at the cannons. So let's. Uh, is that the Golden Hind up yeah. there? The Golden Hind? Is that it up there? It's a yeah. Golden Galleon. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go and have a look, see if we can find your family name. Oh, dear. Yes, 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 yes. We have found one. There we go. Wait, HR. So I found one. That's the first one we've ever seen. That is the first one we have ever seen. That is 1945. And he was a seaman. So, right, we found one. Let's see if we can find another. Okay. Hang on it. Da, da, da. None there. Stoker. Second yeah. class. It, this one round here was uh, a seaman. Uh, yeah. That's the first one I've ever seen. So it's 19. The, the chat round now 1940. was 1945. So, so that's two on one more. Hey, listen, that's another name I don't see a lot. Mercer. Two clients, Mercer's. The solicitor in Plymouth. I I used to work with a nutter called Mercer. All right. But don't tell Lady I called him that. So, yes. Yeah, so you've got. Oh, is he called Mercer? I wonder if he's in relation. That's uh, not found my name at all. Oh, correction, our name at all. Because I keep forgetting you are a Wycombe, even uh -huh. though you've not changed your name. Right. <laughs> so we'll carry on around here. To where this one is. You watch, I won't be able to find it now. There we go. So, hey Lisa. I'm on my way. I thought like we haven't looked at all these other people. Hey. There you go. So, two. And he was a seaman in 1945. So, all that looking, and we've never found one, now we've found two. Yeah. In the same. I wonder Lawrence. if I'm from if our family are from this neck of the woods then. Well, you say that. Where does your cousin's family live? I so, know, yeah, but that's my mum's side. Well, exactly. What do you mean, exactly? Oh no, because it's your mum married. It's my dad. My yeah. dad's name is Wayne. Where did where did we say we found your dad? Funny enough, my dad has always said that he was a Viking. Yeah. So, and they would have been, they would have landed over this side of the country. Well, we've they? just seen that from there. It come from Amsterdam. Yeah, it's where my dad was very, was white, blonde and blue eyed. Oh. Like a Viking, yeah. And you are? What? White. Well, I'm fair and green eyed. Yeah. Well, near enough, isn't it? Well, yeah, I suppose so. So there's some cannons. 
which I guess facing the bench. Facing the bench. Well, they're not. They're actually facing out to sea. Oh yeah. And there is the Falkland Memorial. Let's go and have a look at that. In the phone book, when I was a kid. Yeah. The only wakes in the phone book were my dad and his two brothers. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. The second battalion, the parachute regiment, just one name. So this is what I I find really difficult to get my head around now, is that uh, he was born in 1962, died in 1982, which would have made him 20. Mm. Well, you know, so. I was 1982. I was 14, but 20 and 19. It just it, to me it just seems like yesterday. 1982. I can remember. Well, he would have not long had his 60th birthday, wouldn't he? Yeah. And all the life he would have had. Yeah. Wife and kids and grandchildren. Yeah, it's heart rendering. It is, it is, and that's just one. There's hundreds on there. Yeah. What so, a waste of time war is. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. All right, well, this is, this is a little bit more... Um, well, not upbeat. That's the wrong word, isn't it? But even this is very Victorian. All the, all the fencing. Not like that fencing, but all the posts and stuff. Yeah. This would have been lovely gardens to walk in. You know, the view of the sea. That's in the sea. If you just ignore the fact that there is a sea wall there. <laughs> um, There's a lot of generators, there's a lot of stuff going on there, isn't there? Shall we see what else we can find? Yeah. Is that is that the golden hind at the top? No idea, love. Just to prove we're feeling homesick. Oh look! We trialled one of them, but apparently they were unsafe. Still a fear. Still looks much nicer than what we've got. So have you found out which way we've got to go? No. Should we walk back out down there and then... Um... This feels like we're going out of town to me, but... Yeah. Well, I thought it said over there, but there you go. You we'll thought go. it said where? I wish you'd say left or right, because if I'm walking, I have no idea what over there is. So I was actually pointing where I was doing that with my hand. So we'll, we'll go to the left. Right, there we go. No, go to the left, not the right. <laughs> and you married me. I know, but you do it all the time. I'm driving and you'll say you need to go over there. And I'm driving. I have no idea where over there is. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just naturally annoying. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. It didn't take a lot of effort. I know, I find something you're good at. Eh? Find something you're good at. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Right, let's keep walking this way. Come on. Oh, we've just <laughs> we took about showing our age. So, you remember on the way in, I said Bellevue Park, the lodge. Oh, you got to show all of it because it's a bit yeah. creepy. So, anyway. What did you call it? Hansen and Gretel. Well, it's like Hansen and Gretel, yeah. isn't it? But then, as we're, as we're walking out, you just said, do you think that you is? You said, do you think it's the person who looks after the park? Oh, do you think the it's the person that looks after the park? So I said, oh, is it the parkies? It's parkies. So. He was horrible, wasn't he? Yeah. Was oh, our park is the same as ours. Yeah, our parky was a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Give the man a hat and he becomes a tyrant. Yeah. Yeah. I used to tell us off, you know, because we used to push the swings over yeah. a couple of times to make him go higher. Yeah. Yeah, he used to do his nut. Yeah, or similar. Yeah. Similar. It used to be about 16 of us on the seesaw, you know? Yeah. Well, I can't see the problem. No. What's health and safety? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, our park was a nightmare. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, that's um, that looks like that could do with rethatching, to be quite honest. But there you go. Right. We found the train station. It was never lost, but we found it. Yeah. We decided that it's a 50-minute walk back, or four minutes on the train. 
So we've elected to spend one pound, oh no, 70 pence each and go on the train. Feet are killing me. Oh, does it every time. Well, here comes the train. Which is, uh, there's a limited service on today because of industrial action. action. The 12th, 31st, 3rd. No trains from this station. Reduced service now. So, this is the Norwich train. And, yeah, departs here at 48 and gets us in at 52. So, excellent stuff. So, this is our train, with four minutes of it. Good afternoon and warm welcome to passengers joining us here at Lowestoft Station for the 1648 Greater Anglia service through to Norwich. Calling at Alton Board North, Summer Leighton, Haddiscoe, Reedham, Cantley, Brundle and due to arrive into Norwich at 17.32. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's just... And we're off. I'm going backwards. Oh, come on, sir. Yeah. All right, then. Ten four minutes. That's fine. Going backwards, ain't four minutes. Welcome to this service for Norwich. We will be calling at Alton Broad North, Summer Layton, Haddiscoe, Weedham, Cantley, Brundle, and yeah. Norwich. Basically, we walked all along there. The next stop will be Alton Broad North. Yeah. All four minutes. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. I wonder if this is right. People keep bringing up when they see me. Something that doesn't look right. So, I'm assuming that bridge that they're building, which looks like it's here, we're just coming up to it now, you'll see it in a minute. What is it called? Goldwing Bridge? Mm. Mm. So that's crossing, is that crossing, of, um, obviously crossing yeah, Williams Court. We are now approaching Wow. Mind your step when getting on or off the Williams seated area. So we're getting on? Is it? Oh, it took us so long to walk it. Yeah. So it took us an hour to walk. Yeah. So literally, it's not even two minutes. Well, that was, um, that's probably the best 70 pence I've ever spent, to be quite honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm not going to have a, a relaxing evening sat on the boat. Yeah. So, we've 
uh, the owner of the uh, marina that our boat has moored at has, uh, has just invited us out for the evening for a meal with one of his colleagues, which is rather nice, isn't it? It's rather nice. Yeah, brilliant. So, we walked across this earlier. Now we're on our, we're heading off again. I can't believe it took us all that time. There's a petrol garage there. It took us all that time to walk. <laughs> and like milliseconds to get back. Yeah, it's probably a straight line then. Yeah. We it, right. Back to the boat, yeah. Yeah. 